Hey guys, today we have a mail-in repair from the Phone Repair Guru. It's an iPhone 12 logic board. This phone was originally part of a durability test done by John Zoid. I'll put a link in the description to his original mutilation of this phone. Following the durability test, John sent the device, or what was left of it, to the phone repair guru to see if it was fixable. He was repairing the phone, got it to turn on and everything, but noticed it was missing Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cellular functions. At that point, he sent it my way for board level repairs. Before we jump into it, I will explain the root cause of the problem. Ever since the iPhone X, there has been a sandwich design where there are two boards connected together. The top board has the CPU and is essentially the brain of the phone, while the bottom board has everything to do with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cellular. It only makes sense that if the top board cannot communicate with the bottom board, we will lose access to these important functions. In more forgiving cases, we can solve this problem by resoldering the middle layer and restoring the connection. In cases like this, however, where the phone took serious impacts and has literally become bent out of shape, we must repair torn pads and then replace the bottom board altogether. We begin by using the heating platform to separate the top and bottom board. Now we can inspect the damage closely under the microscope. As expected, there are multiple missing pads. We use the block diagram to identify which pads need to be repaired, marked in yellow. Other pads are ground and are not necessary to repair. First flatten all the pads on top and bottom board. Then begin to expose the vias at all points in need of repair and apply a small amount of solder paste. Use the Rewa lug repair kit and install new pads using hot air. Now we can use UV mask to secure them in place. Once the mask is cured using UV light, use a number 11 blade to expose each point. Next we will remove the key components from the damaged bottom board. This is in preparation to install them onto the replacement. We need to take the baseband CPU, baseband EEPROM, Wi-Fi, and XCVR intermediate frequency IC. These four components must be transferred to the new bottom board as they are paired with the CPU. If we just swap the bottom board without moving them, it would not work. Remove the underfill around the chips, clean them off, and then reball using 183 melt solder paste. Once we have reballed the baseband CPU, XCVR, and Wi-Fi IC, we can move on to what I consider the scary part of this repair, moving the baseband EEPROM IC. It is incredibly small and if we lose it, we are f***ed. It cannot be replaced and it is paired with the baseband CPU, so without it, the phone could never have cellular functions. I admit that I lost it one time when I was new to micro soldering. It literally just flew away. I managed to find it after two full days of searching halfway across the room and fix the phone. I promised myself that day it would not happen again. Following that painful learning experience, I know to handle this component with extreme care. Anyway, once all four components are installed onto the new bottom board, we can put the phone into a jig and test functions. This tool is very useful as it allows us to test the phone before soldering the two boards back together. It's an absolute necessity for working on any phone with a sandwich board design. For this specific procedure, we must also flash the phone using iTunes or 3U tools in order for the repairs to take effect. Once we've placed a test battery and screen, we turn on the phone and connect it to our PC. Flash the device and then wait for the phone to boot up following the restore. We can see that the phone is now on and all functions are working correctly in the testing jig. We are now ready to solder the top and bottom board back together. Use a special reballing platform to begin this final process. Place the stencil and then apply 148 degree solder paste as evenly as possible. Then clean it off with a clean room wipe. Now remove the stencil carefully and then move the board onto a heating platform. Watch under the microscope. After a few moments, we can see that the solder balls are beginning to form. Apply flux to help facilitate this process. Make sure that each point is sized evenly. Now we are able to place the top board onto the bottom board and let the heating platform do the rest. After a brief moment, 
the top and bottom board perfectly solder themselves together. We are ready to run some final tests. Give the phone a quick bath in 99% isopropyl alcohol, dry it off, and then grab a known good housing, battery, and screen. Install the board and then prompt to boot. We can see that Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cellular functions are all working perfectly following the repairs. After some additional stress testing, we will get the logic board packaged up and sent to the phone repair guru so he can complete the repair. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.